Netanyahu addresses Lebanese citizens, says Israel has eliminated Nasrallah's successor, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's address to Lebanese citizens highlights a significant moment in regional tensions by stating that Israel has eliminated that the successor to Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah Netanyahu is sending a strong message regarding Israel's military capabilities and its stance against Hezbollah. This could escalate tensions further as Hezbollah is a major player in Lebanese his politics and a long-standing adversary of Israel. The implications of such statements often affect not only military dynamics but also diplomatic relations in the region. We've degraded Hezbollah's capabilities. We took out thousands of terrorists, including Nasrallah himself, and Nasrallah's replacement, and the replacement of his replacement. Today, Hezbollah is weaker than it's been for many, many years. I say to you, the people of Lebanon, Free your country from Hezbollah so that this war can end. This is a message to the people of Lebanon. Do you remember when your country was called the Pearl of the Middle East? I do. So what happened to Lebanon? A gang of tyrants and terrorists destroyed it. That's what happened. Lebanon was once known for its tolerance, for its beauty. Today, it's a place of chaos, a place of war. Israel withdrew from Lebanon 25 years ago, but the country that actually conquered Lebanon is not Israel, it's Iran. Iran which finances and arms Hezbollah to serve Iran's interests at Lebanon's expense. Hezbollah has turned Lebanon into a stockpile of ammunition and weapons and a forward Iranian military base. Just one day after the October 7th massacre a year ago, Hezbollah joined the war against Israel. It launched an unprovoked attack on our cities and on our citizens. It has since fired over 8,000 missiles at Israel, killing civilians without distinctions, Jews, Christians, Muslims, and Druze. Israel has decided to put an end to this. We've decided to do whatever is necessary to return our people safely to their homes. Israel has a right to defend itself. Israel also has a right to win, and Israel will win. We've degraded Hezbollah's capabilities. We took out thousands of terrorists, including Nasrallah himself, and Nasrallah's replacement, and the replacement of his replacement. Today, Hezbollah is weaker than it's been for many, many years. Now you, the Lebanese people, you stand at a significant crossroads. It is your choice. You can now take back your country. You can return it to a path of peace and prosperity. If you don't, Hezbollah will continue to try to fight Israel from densely populated areas at your expense. I know you want a better future for your children. So I'm speaking to all of you today. There is a better way, a better way for your children, for your cities, for your villages, for your country. You deserve to restore Lebanon to its days of tranquility.